Hey, welcome back to the garden. I'm Tina, as you know, and I am going to show you what's going on in the garden today. We're discussing green worms or little horned worms that get in the tomatoes. I'll show you why I know they're there. So I'm walking out to water the garden and I come to the tomato plants and I look down and I say, hey, what's those little black things that I can see on the ground? Where are they? See those little black things right there? There's some right here on the leaf. Where is it? It's got to focus nicely right there. Now when you start seeing things like that, you know that there's caterpillars in your tomatoes. There's a whole bunch of little droppings right there. If you go around, I'm starting to realize that I have them in different spots. There's some more there, evidence, and I think there was one other uh, right here. Now sometimes it's really hard to find where they are. The green plants, green tomatoes, where's the green worms? Where? And you're looking everywhere over and over and over again. So the first thing you want to do in this case is you're going to look at the branches to see where there's chewing going on. They'll be kind of bare, I'll show you. Now although on these leaves right here you can see some chewing going on. Now that might be caterpillar, it might not. There's a lot of bugs that like to chew on leaves. But then we come over here, see that stem right there? It should have leaves just like these, but instead it's a bare stem, just kind of like that one. That one is also good evidence right here and next to it right there. What you're going to do is you're going to look for these areas where they're highly chewed. There's evidence of poop on the ground from the caterpillars everywhere, so somewhere in here he's got to be. We're going in. Now as I'm looking around, we're trying to see something that's different than the limbs, than the branches. Here's another evidence that something's been chewing, and usually that is a green caterpillar that's doing that. I have another one that's been chewed on. And you're looking, you can look at one spot over and over again, and sometimes you won't see them because they blend in that well. So keep looking. Look for evidence right here some evidence. You can see it where it's kind of darker. It's a dark thing that they put out like if something's trying to get them. Like a, if you were to try to grab them they would put it out. It must taste disgusting to the predators. But you keep looking. So then I came to this area and there was high evidence. It got even more sparse in areas where you could definitely tell something's been chewing off leaves ends of the branches, everything. See, no leaves left. They're just down to the nubs. Then another victim tomato. See, down there it's gotten chewed out of. It's a green one. I kept looking and I kept looking. I've been looking for about 10 minutes now. And then suddenly I zeroed in. Do you see it yet? both beautiful and annoying. That little guy right there has been doing all the damage. He might have a little friend to him. Now if you notice on the end of him he has kind of a reddish colored, almost looks like a hook. Now I have no idea if he can do anything with that to me, but I'm not going to take a chance. So I always cut off the branch they're sitting on because their feet are very sticky. So, take my little trusty scissors here and cut off that little branch right there. And now we're going to take them to the chickens. Here we go. Watch them light up. At least try to see who can get it first. Alright, going down. 
Hey, chickens. Who's gonna get the tasty treat? It's good protein. Travis, other little chickens. Here we go, it's coming in. Who's getting it? Oh, 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 who got it? Oh, the little white one. Oh, now they're all gonna fight him. Oh, now Travis has got it. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that's one green caterpillar down to go. Much more, I'm sure. Travis is all, thanks, Mom. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do to keep your produce good. So now what I'll do is I'll continue to look for those little caterpillars and continue picking them out if there's more. I'll look for more evidence. Remember, look for the worm poop first. They're very evident, sometimes a green color, sometimes black. Sometimes they're hanging on leaves. You can see it on stems where one will fall but not to the ground. So be aware of that. Look for any kind of chewing and wherever the most chewing is, where there's a bunch of leaves stripped from the branches, that's usually the area to start looking in really good because they really blend in. My last tip is all these branches that have been stripped of their leaves, go through and clip them all off. And anywhere that you see any of the remainings of the caterpillar poop, sweep it up, scoop it up, whatever you gotta do. And that way, after you've looked for caterpillars as much as you can, you'll know that if you see new evidence of chewed branches, leaves being stripped, cut out all the tomatoes that have been chewed on, things like that, you'll be able to know that there's a new little caterpillar in your garden and start searching in that area. I hope these tips help. Okay, back to looking for more. And please, subscribe. See what I'm up to next. So happy gardening. I'll talk to you soon.